let's go through a few examples related to the heat transfer process. Which process can occur in vacuum? Yes, it's only radiation. Because for conduction, it requires a medium, either solid, liquid, or gas. And for convection, it must be a fluid. So only radiation can transfer heat through vacuum. And for the next example, the hot water here, how does the heat transfer out? It can transfer through conduction because it will first heat up the cup and then heat up the air. And for convection, sure, and radiation, actually you put it here, the heat must be transferred away through radiation. Have you ever go to barbecue and using the aluminum foil to cover some hot potato? How does it reduce the rate of energy loss? Conduction, no, because it's a metal, it's a good conductor. Convection, also wrong, because it is not airtight, the hot air inside uh, will also able to leave it efficiently. The only way is for radiation, because of the shiny surface, it can reflect the infrared radiation.